Good morning and welcome, or rather, good evening. This is quite possibly my last little knock after work. And the title of this video is correct. I am retiring. But before we get to that, I want to talk about the comments. For the past couple of months, I've had somebody in my comments who's a bit irritating. And in the last video, we had an exchange where basically he called me a liar when he was asking me how I fund my trips to Thailand. Basically, I have two or three salary sacrifice saving schemes running at the same time. They run for five years and because they're connected to the company, you actually get quite a large bonus at the end of it. Plus with Saturdays, Sundays, overtime and many sacrifices, that's how I can afford to go. In fact, since I came back from Phuket some time ago, I've had the grand total of one beer. I don't go drinking. There's a lot of things I don't do. I make incredible sacrifices so that I can have a fancy holiday. Anyway, I eventually got fed up with the bloke and I've blocked him, so all his comments are gone. Nice. All his comments are gone. I won't see them. You won't see them. He's basically talking to himself now. So, bye bye. <coughs> Some people say that if you put yourself out there on social media, you have to accept the nutters and take it on the chin. Well, YouTube doesn't say that. YouTube says, don't take it on the chin, either report them to us for a serious breach, or you can just press a button and they disappear. And that's what we do. Your psychic says, YouTube is an extension of my living room. If you can't behave like you're in my living room, then you're gone. And I agree with that. Well, this is the second iron shot in the row where it's absolutely flown. I had 168 there, I hit a 5 iron. The pitch mark was right at the back of the green. It flown about 182. There's no wind, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But retirement, so basically what's going to happen is this. I am taking flexi retirement which means from the 1st of April, because that's the date I chose, I will drop to a four day week. And then 12 months later, I will drop to a three day week. So I'm still gainfully employed. It's just I'm not making quite as much money because the number of hours I'm putting in will go down. But it does mean I slowly ease my way out of the company. I've got an end date, which has made me feel so much better when I work for a company that is continually shrinking. And we never know quite when they're going to say, thank you very much, goodbye. This is heavily edited just so that you can see something. It was completely dark. So that's my exit plan. Two years from the 1st of April 
and I'll be gone. Which after 44 and a half years, I think that's enough. Do you know what disappointment is? Disappointment is finding your ball about five feet off the left hand side of the green with a chip of about six yards setting up the camera, hit and record chipping it in for an eagle coming back to the camera and find that you didn't press the record button quite hard enough crap, how disappointing another point about being still gainfully employed for another two and a half years is I've got saving schemes still running and they will continue to run right up to my end date and beyond because once you start these schemes even though you retire you can continue them in retirement believe it or not there's eight days before I head to the airport in fact in eight days time I will be somewhere over India on my way to Bangkok I can't believe it's come round again my only wish is that I had started YouTube before I did my first trip in 2008 you never know I might be giving Rick Shields a run for his money but I doubt that anyway Thanks for watching, thanks for those who have supported me behind the scenes while I've been going through this should I, shouldn't I, retire or not. As a friend said to me, if you worry about how much money you've got in retirement, you'll die in that chair of yours. Cheerio.